What's going on guys? Crypto Renegade here. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about NFTs again and how they can be used in the world of real estate. It has been a while ever since we talked about the non-fungible tokens aspect of the channel since we were a bit focused on the slight crypto dip of the past few weeks. For those of you who don't know, NFT means non-fungible token and it's a kind of token built in such a way that it can't be interchanged between users fungibly. And for those of you who do know, yes, we are here to discover another perk of NFTs and how they can be used in real estate. Let's take a look at this. But before I jump into the content, I just updated my new free ebook on the seven best ways to secure your crypto, updated for 2021. It's 100% free. So check that out in the description and it will also be pinned in the comments below. All right, let's get started. Polygon, previously Matic Network, has just partnered with Labs Group, one of the first end-to-end -end blockchain based real estate investment platforms. They are about to introduce superior full stack scaling solution on top of its Ethereum application. Labs Group has introduced a new way for users worldwide to begin investing in real estate for the first time, starting with as low as $100. However, with sky-high Ethereum gas fees that show no signs of decreasing anytime soon, many users still face a high barrier to entry when it comes to accessibility. Michael, give me my money back. So how do we solve this problem exactly? Enter Polygon Network, ticker symbol MATIC, M-A-T-I-C. Labs Group is successfully deploying smart contracts on Polygon Network. This helps users to conduct transactions without facing unsustainably high transaction fees. The problem of high gas fees and slow transactions can be solved through this partnership. Polygon will integrate its network into the Labs platform, developing a multi-chain scaling solution specifically for this problem. How does this function? Well, Polygon is a scaling solution built on top of Ethereum's base layer to optimize transactional capacity. With the scalability solutions implementation, such as Polygon's, the transaction does not need to be initially verified by the entire Ethereum blockchain. That's what causes high fees in the first place, congestion. The verification by the entire Ethereum blockchain is the issue. Polygon validators built alongside Ethereum can drastically reduce costs and speed up end user transaction speeds. And this is not all guys. This partnership plays a huge role in the real estate world when it comes to NFTs specifically. Basically, everyone wins from this type of partnership. Labs and their users get instant access to better rates. Polygon gets to add another intuitive and value adding platform to its portfolio of partner projects. Everyone's happy, right? Well, with the start of this collaboration, both Labs and Polygon are one step closer to permeating mainstream adoption. Labs Group has been looking for a solution that will ease the transactional burden of its users, and it has found that solution through this newfound partnership with Polygon. Pretty convenient, I would say. I bet the entire future of my new internet and everything I've worked for on becoming the next Bitcoin. Besides, many other network developers have begun to take notice of the high level services that Polygon has to offer. With this integration, users will be able to fractionalize, crowdfund, lend, and exchange their tokenized real estate assets in a much more cost efficient manner. Now, let's understand Labs Group for a second. This is an end to end real estate investment platform built on Ethereum to offer new opportunities to the real estate investment industry. With Labs, users can gain investment exposure to world-class properties. Not only that, the company can offer to the users financial stability and long-term wealth generation previously reserved only for high net worth individuals and investors. 
Using labs, anyone can easily fractionalize their real estate, use real estate holdings as collateral for a loan, crowdfunding real estate, and trade real estate tokens on a regulated securities exchange. That's all about Labs Group. They're kind of like a blockchain slash real estate slash loaning slash financial institution. How about Polygon? Who are these guys? They are formerly rebranded to Matic, then Polygon, then Matic. Polygon is a full stack scaling solution designed to make Ethereum based transactions more efficient. Polygon is a multi chain scaling solution utilizing side chains in order to verify platform transactions without routing them through the entire Ethereum network. Through this methodology, transaction fees rapidly decrease while transaction speed increases, creating a win-win situation for both application developers and end users. Now, I know what you're thinking. What do NFTs have to do with all of this? Let me explain it to the newcomers first. Non-fungible tokens are cryptographic tokens that represent something unique. This includes a piece of art, music, collectibles, NFTs certify the ownership digitally prior to NFTs. It was almost impossible to authenticate and own digital art or music since it's so easy to take a screenshot or simply download a file. Since the NFT provides a unique, non-forgeable signature, owners can now prove their ownership, making this type of purchase a more lucrative and realistic investment. So where does real estate fit in? There have been several virtual real estate sales. For example, the digital Mars house recently sold for 500,000. There's a digital real estate Twitter page that is selling virtual properties. Digital real estate is actively being bought and sold on virtual role-playing games such as Superworld, but enough of games. Is there an opportunity to use NFTs in the real physical world that we all possess? As a passionate advocate of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology, my answer is a resounding yes. The ERC-721 and related standards enable frictionless, secure trading of digital assets to occur anywhere in the world. I'm excited about how NFTs in the virtual world is going to be applied to real estate in the physical world. I suspect that people will soon be able to buy a building, buy the air rights, and buy the virtual rights of any physical space. The future is gonna be awesome, guys, I'm telling you. The current transfer of property ownership is extremely labor-intensive and expensive due to bureaucracy. Even an equity line requires a significant amount of paperwork. By tokenizing the property rights, it then becomes much easier to trade and manage them. Imagine this, you could buy a house as an NFT and instantly borrow against that NFT using DeFi products with a two to 4% interest rate. The real estate industry is notoriously slow in adopting new technologies. However, the very nature of real estate makes it ideal for blockchain applications. Real estate is immovable and easily findable by third parties with blockchain based claims on it as collateral or for other purposes. Let me put it this way. I'm standing in front of a burning house and I'm offering you fire insurance on it. In another video, I have covered the topic of how NFTs can behave as digital assets, depending on the kind of real estate property, land, housing, commercial property, and so on. There may be a need for a management company that will take care of the maintenance, payments, and collection of rents or fees. There are some interesting challenges to solve for real estate NFTs to play a significant role in the industry. However, I'm very optimistic. The issues that crypto tokens face, such as hacks to smart contracts or lost passwords or cryptographic private keys, etc. Just realize if you forget or lose your private key to Bitcoin, then you lose that Bitcoin forever. Potential rules for NFT transfers in real estate should consider locking the money but not the asset itself to avoid unclaimed property rights. And this is something we have been predicting for months now. You're goddamn right. Now, let's take a look at how a real estate NFT sale could work. First, there's legal preparation for the sale of a property 
as an NFT. Then an NFT is minted that includes descriptive and legal data about the property, including paperwork, disclosures, reports, image files, and even videos. The NFT is proof of ownership. Legally, whoever has the possession of the NFT owns the property. Get off my lawn. That NFT, which resides on a distributed ledger, can then be placed into an existing NFT marketplace for sales, such as OpenSea or Gemini's Nifty Gateway, or into a future real estate NFT focused marketplace. Potential buyers bid for the property. Once a winner is determined, the buyer pays for the property in fiat or crypto preferably, most likely via a third party escrow service or smart contract designed to perform these escrow duties automatically. In a limited time window after the funds are released to the seller and the NFT is transferred to the wallet controlled by the buyer, the buyer completes paperwork to finalize the legal ownership transfer. This eliminates tons of costs, time, and preparation. Otherwise, the transaction is reversed. I'm thrilled to see the NFTs are having their moment as the public becomes less confused and more aware of NFTs and other forms of crypto. Real estate will catch up, it has to. With all that being said, that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your opinions in the comments if you'd ever buy a house with an, as an NFT. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video in the top right corner here where I talk about NFTs as real-world assets. See you guys in that video. Crypto Renegade out.